Hey guys, Matt here. Just before the um, video starts, I just want to let you know that near the end of this video, there is a few problems with audio and you might not be able to hear me that well. But apart from that, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel and then just sit back, relax and enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, uh, it's Matt and today we're going to be playing a, a game that I got recommended by one of my subscribers. It's called The Convenience Store. Now I haven't actually played this game at all. I haven't heard of it before. Uh, well it was released this year so it's pretty new. But let's just jump into it. And let's see what this game has to offer. Okay, right, are we playing now? It's time. Need to get ready for work. Ah, oh, okay. Nice ticking clock, very loud. It's not even moving, so it's just broken. Very nice. Uh, Slept well. Okay. Hey! Got a little stuff and chiller. What shall we name it? I'm going to name you straight off the bat, uh, Charlie. I know it's a very basic name, but I'm going to name you Charlie. Why not? It's dark outside. It sure is. Flashlight. Yes. Oh, okay. Now I can see. Right. Did he do anything? Change clothes. Yes. Okay, just put my clothes on. Do I go down here? Uh, I need to eat something, time. change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. Well, I've already changed and I got my flashlight. Where do I get my food from? Okay, that doesn't open. Let's have a look. Do you know where the food is? Can I eat this? Okay, I'm guessing that's yours then. Anything in the fridge? Ah, okay. Now I'm guessing put it in the microwave? Warm it up? Yes. Okay. Now we wait. We play the waiting game. Hey, can I have some of that? Oh, it's done. Eat bento. What is bento? Crunch. Okay. Looks like they enjoyed that. Alright, let's close this. Let's close that. And let's get going. Okay, now we can go. Oh, okay. This doesn't look scary at all. I thought this was a scary game. Hey, the convenience store. This looks really nice. Hey, who's this guy over here? What you doing, my man? How are you? Hey, what do you want? Oh, God, what is wrong with your face? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The day of judgment will come. Here. Hey, I'm just gonna leave you alone. Don't look at me like that. Hey! I don't know your name. Let's call you Greg. Oh god, you made it. Oh, is that a surprise? Hmm. Oh no, it's just I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Okay. Scary stuff, yeah, indeed. If only this was a true true ugh, I can't speak. True story. Ha ha. Huh. Sorry. I like this music. Enter counter, yes. You are some freaky man. 
God damn, that chin. Guess we go in here. What's this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off for the shelves for me? Your manager. What's this? Use CCTV. Oh no, my man's leaving. Get back here. Oh, there's something out the back there. That doesn't look too good. I guess we're just gonna have to do what the bus said. Looks like some of these are expired. Take items off the shelf. Okay. Trash expired food. And it goes. Sound too bad. Right, let's shut that door. I don't want anything getting in here. Hey, my man, how are you? Okay then, screw you. Take the items off the shelf, yes. Now, do I check these outside or? I wonder if that guy is still out here. Give expired food? Why does he want the expired food? You know what? No, I'm not going to give it to you. I'll be with you in just a sec, sir. Just gotta check out this, no, expired food. You know how expired food is. I promise nothing else in here is expired. Do I scan you? Damn, you are hot, man. Do I scan this? Thank you. Come again. Okay, so I... By the thing is, I'm a college girl. And I'm just here on my own. In a convenience store. Off he goes to his car. <gasps> Another customer. Why have I still got my flashlight on? Why do I have my flashlight on? Hello? Oh my god, he's just a whole 360. What's this man doing? Um. Uh. Let's just check the security cameras. There's someone out there. There's no one out there. Is he coming? Well, this man's got some really heavy footsteps. We got oh, it's a delivery man. Hello. I thought you were working for McDonald's then. What have you got for me? It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusive. Uh, exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Receive. Yes. Take it home. Okay. Oh my god, how? Look at that. I can just see where I work at all times. That just turned on by itself. Right, let's put this in here. Oh, video tape. Watch closely. Okay, we'll watch closely. Um...
the hell was that? Like... First night. Okay. Ah, oh, brilliant. The power's out. Always love to see that, don't you? You know, just how the power goes out. One day. What does it mean, first night? Is this like Five Nights at Freddy's or something, but convenience store edition? Where is it? <gasps> yes, my favourite place. That man's gone. <gasps> Greg! Hey! Hey, hey! So I heard you reported the doors would open on their own. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time. But they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Right, let's clock in. Yes. Okay. What does our boss want us to do today? I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see this note, get rid of them. Okay. See you later, Greg. Right. So, I'm guessing the bins have been knocked over outside. We've got to sort them out. Ah, there's a rat. There's another one. Where do we get? Oh, hello. Mouse spray. Anyone else? You! Well, dead. Man, this spray is really effective. Ah. Where's the last one? Over here. Ah, there you are. Right, there we go. Rats are all gone. Oh, hello. Oh my god, you're creepy. Hey, do you want some hand with that? Oh, you're going in there. You just open that with your mind. This girl's creepy as hell. Some guy out here. Hey, that's a nice car you got there. You even bothered to park properly. Hey, this guy looks cool. Look at this guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me? Five cans of beer, a pack of cigars. Well, I know where the cigars are. They're right here. Here you go. Now, where do I find the beer? Where do I find the beer? The fridges? So, go get it yourself. Yeah, get it yourself, man. I'm gonna close this door before anyone tries to get out there. Oh. I guess I just scan it like normal. And a uh, boop. Thank you, you're welcome. Damn, that guy was so hot. God damn. Off he goes. Take me with you, please, I don't like it here. Oh, hello. She was in there a while.
Um, hello? Huh? Huh? Where's Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Uh, uh, I didn't do anything. I'm hiding behind here. Goodbye. Cleared the rats up. Oh my god. What happened to the music? I'm checking the security cameras. They're opening by themselves. Yeah! Who's that? What the f there was someone there. Okay, here he comes. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? It's the uh, delivery man again. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend of ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Where? What, this one? No. Let me just check in the back. Ah, this one. Here you go. Not even a thank you, okay. Nothing happening out here. Nothing happening out there. Out here, then, shall we? <gasps> Second night. Wait, what? Okay, night two. How are you doing, Charlie? Spooky. What's this? Get umbrella. Oh, someone at the door. Open it. Is it? Another VHS tape? Let's put this one in there, shall we? Look at this one. all good. Let's just get to work as normal. So all I know about the story so far is someone jumped off that bridge and I think they're haunting this convenience store? Where is he? I've already started my shift on my own. Oh well where is this other guy at? <laughs> Why would you do that? I got you good. Hi, yeah, you did. Let's see what the boss wanted to do this time. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Okay. Stop the shelves. Shows need to be stopped. Listen to these girls. Ah. Yeah. So this thing's easy. It's only the second night. Not too bad. 
Oh, what was that? You gotta be kidding me! No. Now that door shut as well. the music So there's something wrong with the air condition. Your boss seems desperate in keeping the food fresh. I to be working this late, but he plays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Okay, let's check the CCTV and see if he's. Why is this camera like the clearest? He's not doing anything, he's just looking at it. Okay, he's done. Oh wait, that thing's that thing's on the ground. Hold up. The fence is knocked down. Oh, it's a lady. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Where are you going? What's going down there? That I need to turn the brightness down. Yeah, now you can see. I wanna see. Actually, I want to see what that guy was doing. What the hell? Ooh. Why is it going out here? Freaky as hell. Let's see what this guy was doing. That's a good one, Okay. We go back to the end now. Oh, okay, I'm good. Are you anyone working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Help me. 
careful. Protection charm. Take it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I just got weird shivers down my spine. But I knew that old lady done something to that toilet. She's left stains on the floor. Hey, can you close that? I forgot to say, but who keeps doing this, bro? Bro, stop. Oh, who made them like this, man? There's someone on the keyboard. The chair's moved. CCTV. Wait, so has our manager been watching us this whole time? I knew it. Charlie, you behind this? There's a camera in your eyes, isn't there? Oh, Man. Why is it always me? Why am I the only one who's working on their own? In a convenience store. I have no food. All I have is these... All cheesy things that this guy's just been staring at this whole time. Ah, oh, well, I guess I have to go back there again. Okay. Right. Uh, I guess we got... What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? I guess we take my flashlight again. I guess we go to work. Again. It was locked. Another V. 
VHS tape. Yes. That place. It's that place. Again. Okay, okay. We're doing fine. We're definitely doing fine. Nothing's bad happening. No, no, no. Just a very spooky person just watching us, I guess. Across the bridge, like normal. And there it is. My favourite spell. Where I love to work the most. Now, I wonder if our friend Reg is gonna scare us again, hmm? Here we go. Hey, Greg, where are you at, buddy? You're not here. You gonna jump us? You're gonna jump scare us again, aren't you? Uh, no? Where are you this time? Let's have a look. <gasps> Whoa! Turn on. Here we can go out here. Okay, we can't go out there. There's boxes missing from that corner. What is this, chicken? Nails? Uh Oh. Let's check the CCTV, I guess. Oh! Child! Hello! He's looking at that one. Okay. He's coming down here. He has no face. Okay, he's looking at that TV. Did we turn the TVs on? Hold on. So it was this one. And it was... This one. Now we go back to here, I guess. Where is he gone now? What is he doing? Oh, is he gonna look at all the TVs again for us? Oh, okay, there was one right at the top there, okay. He also wants us to turn that TV on. This one. Turn you on. Okay. Okay, okay. Now where is he? Where's he gone? Okay, he's walking down here now. He's looking at that TV. Now I guess we walk along here. Now he's walking down the side here. Okay, little boy, what are you doing? Now he's looking at that one. Okay. Now, what will happen if we turn that one on then, hey? <gasps> what the hell?
He's walking the same pattern every time. Which one is it? Which one could it be? Right, I'm back. Now I know what order to press them in, otherwise I would have been here forever. That one. That one. Oh no, I messed it up. Wrong order. Yes, it goes. That one. So I'm guessing it's the ones that don't make any noise. That one. That one. And then this one. Okay, I think I've done it. Oh no, I'm getting chills. What the heck is that noise? Hey, why are you crying, man? What's wrong? <gasps> There's someone playing with a VHS tape. Bring home. Yes. Fourth night. Um. All right. I guess. Wait, we can either watch it or we put it in there? Send it off to someone else? Watch it. I'm gonna send it off to someone else. Are you sure? Yes. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in the short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the stores terrified me, inevitably. I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why, so I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on the strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was Manstead committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th. The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said she had, was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punched onto her, along with the child in her stomach. I wanted to throw it from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and complained to several colleagues. On the day of the incident, he 
instead he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, the depression and the hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called him. He said to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I'd discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a church leader I'd never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hoso said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store. It was found there after a day of death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid near the convenience store whenever I could. Because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible. So. A day later, the store was Okay, it's going too fast now. Well, I didn't have a means to courage of examining it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. What the f Wait, so is that the child? Wait, so those nails were used to punch a... What the f... A game by Chiller's Art. Oh, that was an experience. Oh my god. I know there is one other ending to this. So if I do get the other ending, I'll probably upload it for you guys or on my social media. But this was a good game. I haven't really played any horror games before, but this was definitely a great experience to start off with. So yeah, as I said, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn that bell on so you never miss an upload. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.